Right folks, in today's video we're going to find out what exactly went wrong with the M5 in the last installment of this series. As you may recall, we fitted an Eisenman race exhaust to it. Then I headed out to go and get some flybys, did one burnout and then this happened. <laughs> Yeah, not exactly the sort of noise you want to hear from the E60 M5, especially after fitting one of the most iconic exhausts to it. But yeah, the car had its plans for me that day, and since then it has been stuck in Milton Keynes at my friend's house. Thankfully, though, in that same week, I did actually have some workshop time booked in at Evolve Automotive, albeit for something totally different and not gearbox related. So we had a little chat, got some things figured out and some parts ordered and back onto a recovery truck the M5 went from Milton Keynes down back to Luton. Now before we get into all of that gearbox destruction and all that good stuff, I just want to take a quick second to thank those of you who signed up to the Patreon in the last video. If you're not too familiar what Patreon is, essentially it's another platform which I've set up an account on and on there I'm going to be posting exclusive content on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got a number of ideas for it as it grows but my main sort of goal behind it is to create like a tiny community of car enthusiasts. Those who want to learn, who need any advice on a build of their own, what car to buy. Now currently there's two tiers and both of them will have the same content available so no one's going to miss out on anything. And I've also set a little goal of 100 patrons and once we hit that I'm going to be revealing the project plans for August. It's something totally different to what I've done before but I know a bunch of you folks will like it and if you remember on there you'll know before everyone else now the link to the Patreon is down below in the description check it out if you feel like doing so there's no pressure to sign up and the content on YouTube will not be changing in fact it'll likely grow as that does but yeah folks that's enough talking let's go and find out what we're wrong with this gearbox all right so come down in the car with half the cylinders and still do an oil change after a ring trip but it is what it is E60 is already on the ramp back again Aston back again yeah back again how many times is this now? I've lost count to be I've honest. Lost count. <laughs> this has definitely been here more than any other car. 100%. I've got some presents for you in the car as well, which I'll get out in a second. I don't know if it's time for me to fit to this <laughs> So in here, we have a LUK flywheel. Now this is an OE equivalent part. So the BMW boxed item would be an LUK flywheel. So I decided to just go for this item. And over here on the other side, we have a sax clutch. Again, an OE item. So we're going to change these out. Hopefully that is the problem. I'm pretty sure it is because I had no lights on the dash. It was mainly a very mechanical sound that we were hearing. Either way, we'll get these unboxed over there on the table and show you some of the other bits we've got. Looking forward to actually hearing these again. Got to hear them for about half an hour and then <laughs> it was over. Okay, so these are all the parts that we decided to get for the job. I've now switched to a voiceover. Reason being, at the time of filming, I didn't realize there was a blatant error in front of us and that's the clutch. I got it as a combined package off eBay and it was all correct, part numbers were correct, it was from a reputable garage you could say or distributor, high reviews. But that is not the clutch for an E60 M5 SMG box. It's meant to be a twin disc one but knowing my luck in July this is what was going to happen. The flywheel is correct and the rest of the stuff was from the BMW dealership and it's the stuff that you're recommended to do alongside. So you got the slave cylinder, we also got a new rear main oil seal. Well worth doing even if it's not leaking as everything's going to be off and nice and accessible. New clutch fork, ball pin, spring clip and also a guide sleeve for the new release bearing. Okay so E60 is up in the air. I feel like I've said that in every video now but either way we're moving on to a different part of the car today. At some point you'll be able to say so the E60 is on the road yeah. and it's staying on the road. <laughs> so yeah the plan we need to drop the exhaust first. Yeah so the exhaust will come off and then it'll be just on the tray these heat shields yep and then box off that on that back on That's that back on sounds like a five minute job the way you Easy. said that <laughs> so what we'll do i'll put the camera on a tripod and i'll capture all the sort of removal process and then once it's starting to come off we'll sort of show you it in real time of what exactly is broken One thing I can say is if you stand over here, you can smell something like clutch 
I believe. Very badly, yes. As you can see from the spring plate here, mm. it has got very warm. It's turned blue as well, hasn't it? Yes. So next step now is to remove that spring plate, inspect the clutch behind it, mm. uh, check the flywheel as well. Is there anything here to sort of indicate that this has been off before? So we can see white paint oh, okay, lines Okay, yeah, of course, yeah, actually right there. Normally, isn't it? Um, that wouldn't be BMW there. BMW wouldn't put paint marks on it. Mm. But that would give me an indication that someone has had it off and replaced it at some point. Yeah, because what I noticed in the history with the car, it did say that a clutch has been done at around 48,000 miles, but it's more of a note rather than an actual invoice or anything like that. So I was in two minds, but either way, it's going to get done now, I guess. Definitely, yeah. Going over to here, the very heavy SMG box. There's no kind of foreign debris or anything in there that could have caused any havoc, right? I mean, there's a bit of... Looks like something. Oh, that's just bolts coming through. Oh, is that just a bolt? Yeah, that's just bolts yeah. coming through. Nothing to worry about. Now, essentially what you can see here is a control unit for the SMG with all the wires coming out of it and the Getrag logo. It essentially is a manual box that's hydraulically operated. And there's a few things you can access that can go wrong on an M5 externally without having to drop the gearbox i believe stuff like the plcd sensor which people mentioned we also noticed this ring that was essentially just hanging off by the fork and no it's not meant to be like that it's one piece that's supposed to spin freely and it's actually the release bearing that's basically split in half i like how he's made a little train for the smg it's easy to move around yeah it's quite a good solution that's a perfect length it's like it's been designed for that okay so we've installed a, a miniature sun over there <laughs> and um, giving you a bit more of a good look of what's going on. So first things first, five millimeter Allen's you said? Yep, five mil Allen keys, get these off. Yeah. Take the spring plate off and then uh, get the clutch plate itself out. Not very highly torqued. Is that just by nature or? Yeah, I think on the BMW specs, it's not a great deal of torque on the actual bolts itself. Obviously the fly will be a lot higher torque. Yeah. But these clutch bolts aren't that high. It's amazing how this totally stinks of clutch, but it's like stone cold. I've never experienced that before. I'll let you do the honors and I'll film it for you. All right, so this is me like discovering the error of my ways here. <laughs> um. There we go. Okay, falling apart already, stuff's that. falling up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you've yeah. uh, done a good job of that one. Yeah, let's put it up here a second. Okay, so what we've got here is essentially a uh, destroyed E60 M5 clutch. It's all user error, uh, but it was fun whilst it lasted. What are you thinking, Ash? Uh, I think we'll clean it up and try and put it back in. <laughs> just a little bit of fur, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit of fur. <laughs> Plenty of S6 fun in that. Definitely. It looks like it's just like, yeah, grown like feathers or something. Like It's like just a natural <laughs> living creature, this clutch. Wow, that's that's where that's gone. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the state of this. So um, for those wondering, or were like, proposing in the comments of the last video that maybe it's a sensor. Um, this a just looking sensor. Yeah. This isn't quite the sensor that I imagined. There's the flywheel over there, which has a lot of marks on it, heat spots. Right, okay, folks, so the bad news doesn't end there. I have been sent the wrong clutch. We've just confirmed it. But what we've been given in here is just a generic whatever this is. Random E90 pulling in. Now, I got both of these on eBay as like a combined package for an E60 M5. And in the photo, it actually shows this exact one. So it's the case that there's an error on their part. It's a bit annoying for us because Unfortunately, there's no more ramp time till the 18th of this month. So the car is gonna have to stay here. There will be some other content going on whilst it's on the ramp. Uh, so you may see some stuff on the Evolve channel. But either way, at least we got an update and we can see exactly what happened to the M5, which is the clutch got obliterated and it's fallen apart and looks like it's growing feathers. Aston, you had a look at the clutch? A lot, clearly. <laughs> is it broke, yeah? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah? That'd nah, be fine. Yeah, it'd be good. Just clean it and put it back. Clean it up. A little bit of emery paper, a bit of sandpaper. Yeah, put it back. Bro, what, man? Wow. Yeah. What do you reckon of the clutch, Imran? That looks fine. Yeah? Can't see anything wrong with it. Just shove it back a in. Bit of WD-40. Yeah. yeah. Put it right back. 
Perfect, duct tape. Dave. Yeah, we don't even need this new. Tiger seal. In, yeah, we don't even need this new incorrect <laughs> one. Do you want to remind everyone what I said to you when you talked to me about buying the E60 M5? Um, so he said that don't buy one. <laughs> Literally closing time when every car is coming in. It's pretty much everything covered here, isn't it, Aston? I mean, I can't. Had diesel as well. Many United. Many United. United two. United two. United two. United two. E60. E60. Yeah, E60s with Eisenmans as well. It's like cake. Pretty chaotic that, to be honest. E39. 53 OS. Yep. E39. Z8. Z3. CSL. M2. F90. Yeah, we've also got a. E60, I knew you'd get to that. I mean, the start-up of that is like totally different to what we've been hearing. <laughs> it's just about running. Just about running. Look at that iconic G60. Box arches. F80, F87. A hash. Sweaty. <laughs> E39, Z8, CSL. Do you know you became a Volkswagen enthusiast, Imran? Yeah, there's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Keep it on the download. <laughs> Keep it on the download. Uh, to be fair, out of all the Volkswagens, this is probably the one that I like the most. But th this car has been bought specifically for Bilal because he had one back in the day. Yeah, I remember you saying. It has a lot of nostalgia and I don't mind having it in our joint collection because it's yeah, an asset. Yeah, definitely. It's only going to appreciate. But I mean, I love 80 boxy cars, so yeah. you know. Ether EM3, this, yeah. Integrale, and yep. UR Quattro. That's like that's it, yeah. That's the dream. They all see they all seem very uniform if you park them all next to yeah. each other as well. Yeah. Now nah, very cool that is. Nah, they don't make them yeah, like this anymore. Yeah, check that out. But yeah, folks, that's the actual end of the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned a bit about the SMG and its clutch being destroyed. Either way, drop a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for a lot more content to come, and I'll see you in the next video.